When groundwater from hot springs and geysers flows out at the surface, material in solution is often precipitated, producing an accumulation of chemical sedimentary rock. The material deposited at any given place commonly reflects the chemical makeup of the rock through which the water circulated. When the water contains dissolved silica, a material called silicia sinter, or geyserite, is deposited around the spring. When the water contains dissolved calcium carbonate, a form of limestone called travertin, or calcareous tufa, is deposited. The latter term is used if the material is spongy and porous. The deposits at Mammoth Hot Springs in Yellowstone National Park are more spectacular than most others, figure 17.25. As the hot water flows upward through a series of channels and then out at the surface, the reduced pressure allows carbon dioxide to separate and escape from the water. The loss of carbon dioxide causes the water to become supersaturated with calcium carbonate, which then precipitates. In addition to containing dissolved silica and calcium carbonate, some hot springs contain sulfur, which gives water a poor taste and unpleasant odor. This is undoubtedly the case at Rotten Egg Spring, Nevada. Figure 17.25 Yellowstone's Mammoth Hot Springs Although most of the deposits associated with geysers and hot springs in Yellowstone National Park are silica-rich geyserite, the deposits here consist of a form of limestone called travertin. Photo by Jamie and Judy Wild slash Danita Delimont slash Alamy